Our topic today is the economy. What is it going to take to break out of this lackluster recovery? Today, over 25 million Americans are looking for work. And every day, the country and the man on the street seems to fall deeper into debt. Is this a hole that's grown too deep, one we can't climb out of? Josh Linkner says no. Together, we will create jobs and hope. Together, we will reestablish Detroit as a beacon of innovation and entrepreneurship. Together, we will launch dozens of companies and in turn will leave a profound impact on the city. And together, we will play our role in the bigger effort of a new Detroit, Detroit 2.0. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to introduce our new partner, Irvin Magic Johnson. Detroit 2.0. First of all, you picked a heck of a city, um, which is in, a city that's endured a lot already. So my question to you is, what is Detroit 2.0? Well, you're, you're exactly right in terms of uh, what we've endured. Um, and uh, I look at Detroit as the Rocky Balboa of cities. We're kind of fighting for life and glory at this point. Um, but, you know, here's the thing. A hundred years ago, Detroit was the Silicon Valley of the United States. This is the home of creativity and innovation. Um, unfortunately, over the last several decades, we got away from that. And as the creativity and invention went away, um, so did our fortunes and our city crumbled. And we ended uh, the last decade really as a national punchline. Um, but today, Detroit 2.0 has emerged, and I'm so excited to be part of that. The engineers and the venture capital and, and, you know, there was a convergence of certain resources in Silicon Valley that allowed it to become Silicon Valley. And there are some people that say, well, those resources really haven't been available in other cities like Detroit. And as a result, you see the economy uh, that it has. And I know you feel differently about that. Can you talk about that for a moment? I do. Uh, you know, we have all those resources here. We have amazing universities, unbelievable talent, great engineers, um, low cost space. We have all the right ingredients. Um, but what our city is lacking is a connective tissue to bring those ingredients together. And I think Silicon Valley has done a terrific job of it. So what we need to do is connect those, uh, those resources, provide a little capital, and amazing things can happen here. I mean, I built ePrize, my company, which grew to be the largest internet company in the state of Michigan and, and, and the largest promotion company in the world. And that was here in Detroit. And everyone said it couldn't, couldn't be done. Well, any great invention, any company that's mattered has, has been surrounded with naysayers. And so to me, Detroit is a big blank canvas of opportunity. Um, and, and I think it, it couldn't be more entrepreneurial here. Why, why follow the herd and flock to either coast and, and get lost in the shuffle um, when you can be here and stand out and really make a difference? So I think this is the entrepreneurial place to be. And I envision amazing things happening in the next five to 10 years. Well, I've got to be honest with you. I'm not sure that Silicon Valley isn't going to become Detroit you know, five or 10 years ago, if we don't get off the dime here in California and incentivize businesses again, we have our own problems, as you know, in this state of, uh, of helping entrepreneurs. And maybe we need Detroit venture partners to come to Silicon Valley now. <laughs>